The California Chinook salmon considered threatened under the Endangered Species Act, and their population numbers continue to dangerously decline. So tonight we're getting answers on a new plan underway to help save the species, taking center stage in our own backyard. New emergency efforts are being taken to protect the dwindling number of salmon coming up the Sacramento River. This is a life-saving measure for a species. These biologists are collecting juvenile Chinook salmon along several North State creeks to help keep them from going extinct. There aren't that many numbers and they're just not what they used to be decades ago. In good years, there would be several thousand fish in these creeks. This year, the numbers are orders of magnitude lower. You know, reports of 20 fish in one of those streams, seven, adults in the other. A couple hundred have been captured and are now being kept inside water tanks at a UC Davis aquatic research facility. They'll be a foster home in a sense for these juvenile fish. Scientists say one of the biggest reasons for the struggling salmon population is several years of drought. But what we're seeing this year is impacted by what happened three years ago. This is a current situation that could have been avoided. But Scott Artis with the Golden State Salmon Association also blames federal and state officials for diverting too much water from the river for agricultural use. Most of this disaster can really be laid at the feet of water managers. He wants to strengthen river flow and temperature requirements that help protect migrating salmon. We're going to continue to lose salmon if we don't make those changes. Scientists hope to use the fish currently held in captivity to preserve their genetic diversity and breed baby salmon, which will then be released back into the wild to help save the species. It's not ideally the way we want to do things, but it's a bit of a safeguard. Now, money for this rescue effort comes from the California Department of Fish and Wildlife's drought funding.